Okay, let me go to the bathroom, please. Mm. A beautiful, beautiful Wednesday afternoon at you today, the 27th day of May 2020. And I'm glad to know that uh, you are joining me once again on uh, the Talk With Me uh, chat series with the theme Unleash. Last week, 28th of May, was uh, the first edition or the first episode and we had Casey Ume, who is uh, the principal consultant of Simplify Lead Consulting. And it was uh, a very a beautiful time. Thank you for joining me once again and I'm glad that it's going to be another interesting time today on Talk With Me. Okay, so Talk With Me was birthed as a result of um, some persons who want to run away from it as a result of COVID-19. So I've come to understand that COVID-19 was not made against me but for me and so i used this opportunity to actually do the things i was supposed to do in fact i completed a course that you know has been pending for a very long time during the covid 19 times and uh, it was an amazing one and of course uh, i believed more in myself and with the information and the, I, I i got it all through the lockdown period it's still going around in some states we sympathize with those uh people still in lockdown in some states but uh for us here in an Anambra state uh, it's uh, an amazing one and of course uh, i want to say a big welcome to nancy for joining me this afternoon okay so nancy thank you for joining me right today on uh, the episode of uh, a talk with me on leash i'll be having nancy Oboe will be joining me this afternoon and we will be talking about a whole lot of things of course um nancy Oboe is um, she is a public speaking strategist among many other things on my linkedin post this morning i said she was a philanthropist and of course uh, a certified talk active i believe she will be telling us more about that <laughs> all right thank you vicky toria joining this afternoon ami sparklesby thank you for joining this afternoon okay without waste wasting much of our time we are gonna go straight to welcoming our guest this afternoon mm. <laughs> get ready to be unleashed because it's gonna be a very beautiful beautiful time i hope you guys can hear me i hope you guys can hear me if you can hear me please uh, let me get the wave let me get the thumbs up or let me get your emoji let me know you can hear me loud and clear so we can go straight up to the discussion okay but then nancy is going to be in the building any moment from now okay 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 nancy can hear me very well victoria can hear me you can as well let your friends know that we are live this beautiful afternoon the 27th of may 2020 on Talk with me unleash all right nancy i'm bringing you up now so i hope you are ready nancy are you ready nancy are you ready okay because uh, i'm bringing you up so we can uh, make use of the time uh, we have right now before instagram post in the building this afternoon and i hope network will allow us do the things uh, we want to do this afternoon okay <laughs> hi good afternoon can you hear me loud and clear oh my god oh my god so good to have you this afternoon <laughs> thank you i'm happy to be here thank you whoa 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 you look dashingly awesome i can I, I, to say the least Mm. <laughs> okay you. before before we go ahead happy children's day to everybody to everybody to all, of, to all of our children yes we are all somebody's <laughs> child all right okay thank you so much nancy for joining me this afternoon and i'm glad i'm so 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 excited that you 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 obliged to speak with me this afternoon 
Okay, let's go straight into business. I see PG Inspire uh, this afternoon. Thank you very much, PG Inspire, for joining us. <laughs> you know him? Yeah, I do. Wow. We've been just we've just been talking recently. Yeah, we just we just bonded on Instagram very much recently, and he is so good at what he does. He's very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He is gonna be on uh, the uh, on the show also on uh, one of the episodes. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Mm. All right, Nancy, let's shoot. Okay, I when I did my uh, LinkedIn post, I said uh, you are a certified talkative. I also said you are a philanthropist and uh, you are a public speaking strategist. Did I miss anyone? Please, you can tell us before we go into what we have uh, uh, today. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Nancy. I'm certified talkative, talk queen, master of ceremonies. And uh, I'm a philanthropist. I'm the founder of Street Aid Africa Foundation. And when I say certified talkative, I help raise other talkatives. So if you All have right. been called a talkative in any dimension, people are oh, always talking, right? Come, let's, let's, let me help you get impact and income from talking. You don't just talk. You get to impact people with your talk and make an income from it. So that's what I help people do. Yeah, impact and make income from your talking, not just talking. Oh, I just hope this is not going to happen today. I just hope this is not going to happen today. No, 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 no. I prayed for this event and, 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 and this event is going to work. Network is not going to hold us back. Biko Network, allow us to hear Top Queen today. <laughs> All right, Nancy, let's shoot, let's shoot. Let's go straight up to what we have uh, today. Unleash. Uh, this question is a traditional question that will run throughout the series whenever I get my guest on set with me. When okay. you hear the word unleash, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Break forth. Mm. Let loose. Move. Do something different. It's as simple as that. Break forth. Let's lose. Do something different. 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 Wow. Okay. That's an ama That's very straight to the point. Okay. Let's go straight. Now, um, when we want to break forth, uh, let loose, do something different, how do we start doing these things? Because we've always had people say, do something different. Don't be like every other person. Do something different. How, how do we just begin to do something different that is different from what other people are doing? Mm, okay. Okay. That's a very wonderful question. Very so for me, so I'm going to use I'm going to, I'm going to use my personal example. I'm going to yeah. join examples from the Bible because that is the greatest book ever written. And I'm going to talk mm. about my experiences. When okay. you decide to unleash, before you make that decision, you've already understood that there is a leash. When they say unleash, that's remove the UN. There's a leash, mm. and most times, mm. leashes are used for animals. And where, where do they put them? Somewhere around the head. It's here. Yeah. So it's okay. guarding you. You're not talking mm. well. You're not breathing well. You don't have freedom of expression. You don't do what you want to do. So first of mm -hmm. all, you have to accept that there's a leash. That there's something holding mm. you back. You have to accept that you are more than your present circumstances. You're more than where you are. You have to understand that there is more. There is more to you. There is more to your capacity. There is more to what you can do. That is when you have that understanding that it, you, you can now start articulating how to unleash. And you okay. asked me the practical ways to go about this. I think the hmm. first thing I did, because I, I've done, you, you knew me way back. I've done series of businesses, yeah. okay? So as mm -hmm. a student... I did a lot of businesses to survive. But then I'm done being a student, at least for my, mm -hmm. my first and second degree. I'm done being a student. I'm done with my NYSC if you're in Nigeria. That's like compulsory. Okay? If you want to go far in different sectors of the economy, you need to have the certificate. I'm done with that. Right now, yeah, okay. 
I am, I am in charge of my life. And at this point, I sat down mm -hmm. and I asked myself, Nancy, is it going to be business as usual or are you about to level up? And I had to sit down and first of all, first thing I did was I was honest to myself. If you want to unleash, mm -hmm. if you want to break forth, yeah. sit down and do an honest self-analysis. Now, this is where something very, very important begins to happen. You're going to have what I call motivational manipulation. Mm. Motivational manipulation. What is that? Is that point where you tell yourself, no, I can do anything. I can be anything. I can own companies. If he did it, I can do it. Blah, blah, blah. My brother, my sister, hello. That is not honesty. <laughs> Really? No, I didn't do that to myself. But I mm. got that knowledge because I exposed my mind to mm. rigorous thinking. So I had to be honest with myself. Yes, the Bible said I am great. I'm an overcomer. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The Bible did not say I should lie to myself about where I am. So all of that abilities are in the word of God. And because I'm a Christian, I have yeah. access to those things. But I need to, first of yeah. all, understand my present situation. Hmm. As at the time I was branding as top queen, I had not made my first one millionaire. I have hmm. not. I had to tell myself that truth. So yeah. the very first thing you have to do when it comes to unleashing, sit down and do an honest self analysis tell yourself see lie to everybody else but when you sit down look in the mirror and tell this person this is what it is now we are done with honest self analysis you move forward mm. yeah you move to practical analysis mm -hmm. so you've done an analysis of yourself this is where you are right now where do yeah. you want to be next what is the next step you know so many people show up hmm, so many people show up and they give us flashes from the pan. And if you notice, a lot of people show up and disappear as immediate as they showed up. You'll be like, where is this guy that was just doing amazing stuff? Where is this girl? Yeah, She's gone. That's true. There was mm. no practical analysis. What happens mm -hmm. in practical analysis? You understand your now. You understand your present. You understand your past, your present, and your future. Practical analysis. Your mm. past, your present, your future. Where am I coming from? Where am I? Okay. Where am I going to? Mm. Then you sit down and you start planning. You see, God is a planner. Even God, He said, let us make man in our own image. He didn't just wake make up one morning and decided, He brought sand and brought this and made He let us. There, there was a plan. Mm. And then He puts the firmament. He put the seas. He puts light. Let there be light. There was a plan. Everything was ready. And then he brought man. If you show mm. up, if you unleash and you show up unprepared, you are going to be a flash in the pan. Mm. It doesn't matter how, it, how motivational you sound. What you're doing to yourself mm. is motivational manipulation. And you cannot sustain it because there is no substance. So you ought to come, you ought to come prepared while unleashing. You cannot show up anyhow. Mm. If you go to my page since 2020, it has been an every post I make on yeah. Instagram yeah. is intentional. I did an ebook and I said, do it afraid. When I was telling people to do it afraid, I was doing it, doing it afraid. Mm. I held an online conference virtual mm. conference and i had six speakers one two three four five six for six complete days people were on my space learning we we're on my space mm. getting their minds trans transfigured and nobody could believe that that was my very first time of ever doing live videos mm. i was doing it afraid yeah. and what did i do i put my experiences mm. In a book, and I gave it out for free. Mm. Someone who is a flash in the pan cannot do that. 
How mm. was I able to do that? Because I have done my self analysis, I have done my practical analysis, and that takes me to my very third point. I have gained clarity. So there's something that happened when I meet a lot of people, which right now it has become a class for me. It's a class that I now take people to teach, though mm. I don't make that public. It's people people who know me and know what I do. Okay. Clarity is a problem. What happens? You want to do something. Uh, you're confused. Should I? Should I? You, you know you want to. You know you want to sing a song. You know yeah. you have the voice. Then you're not like. Would they like it? Am I good enough? Is this the time? And no. Hey, who will now promote it? I don't even have money. You come online. You see Simi doing song and doing do do ke, do, okay. do <laughs> You go back home. You go back and you're like, hey, God, wait, hey, God. Can I can I say something? Those complexities, yeah. you need to simplify them. You need to sit down and think about what you're thinking about. I'll talk about this later. But mm. those complexities, you need to simplify them and gain clarity. Last year I had an Last event. Year. I was I was a red carpet host for um Senator Helen Eswene. She has been in government almost all her life. And they called me for that red carpet. And I was like, me. You know that thing that happens when you feel you're not worthy of something? Mm. A friend was like, how are you going to do that? You, you've just been doing weddings and normal events. And I told him, like, bro, I'm going to do it exactly how I've been doing others. Mm. I didn't want that thing to get into my head. Because once it sits, it sinks, I'm going to start doubting my abilities and mm. I'll go there and I'll mess up. Mm. I was able to give that reply because I've solved that clarity problem. Yeah, I knew yeah, that this yeah. is what I want to do. And I knew that every opportunity that comes, I will grab it and I will deliver. I cannot do your events and you complain. You just need to experience me. You will call me back. <laughs> But it that's, came that's, from that's, that's with me. so much confidence. No, it's not, it's not. This confidence is not coming because I know how to talk or because mm. I'm fine. I'm not the only fine girl online. I'm not the only person that yeah. can talk online. If you look very soon, somebody else will come and say she's certified talkative too or talk queen too, and all of us okay. will join. No problem. I mm. don't have issues, but I am me, okay. and that is one thing you cannot be. Okay. What did I do last year? I paid. Almost $195 for a training as a core member wearing oh. khaki, being paid $19,800. I took that money and I gave somebody to train me. And when I was telling my friends, they're like, you're mad. That is somebody who has gained clarity. Mm. You, cannot, you cannot make that kind of investment in a confused state. When you get there, self, you will understand what they're saying. Because you'll be thinking about your money. You'll be like, eh, how would I eat today? Oh, God, this money I came to pay. Hey, who sent me? Mm -hmm. I got to that class. I was the youngest person. Whoa. As you see me with my mm. guests, I was the youngest mm. in the class. So when you see me show up online and I'm talking, I have been trained. I have experiences. I've done my self-analysis. Mm. I've done my practical analysis. I'm not a flash in the pan. I'm ready mm. for this. Mm. In unleashing, you first of all, be honest to yourself with a very, very honest analysis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then practical analysis, clarity. But well, these are... are these are so 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 clear and so amazing that uh, uh if you take a look at it then uh, you you will see that um uh, being uh, unleashing will be easy so to speak because uh, these are this form the four uh the the the, the fulcrum the foundations of actually unleashing you said something saying that you don't unleash unprepared otherwise you will just don't do that. Don't do that. you just fall you, and uh, you'll be a flash in the pan if you fly, I mean, it's it, it it beats my imagination when I'm trying to imagine what you just said. Like you just come inside, and all of a sudden, you are no more. Nobody knows where you are anymore. And they're like, like, where was this guy? What what happened to him? 
And th- this it, it happens point to you musicians made. a lot. Yeah, it happens to musicians a lot. We, we've seen a, a number of musicians just come and blow and all of a sudden, we don't see them again after maybe one album or one hit track. Yeah, and uh, you, talk, you talk about clarity. Mm-hmm. Clarity. I mean, uh, it's, it's something that, uh, that uh, drives a whole lot of uh, uh, things, decisions we'll make. Like you also said, you can make a decision when you are confused. The decision you made attending that conference, I mean, someone needs to be clear for you to pay that amount of money and still not feel like nothing nothing is uh, uh, it, 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 <laughs> nothing is wrong <laughs> even I if you think uh, <laughs> because at, at times uh, these decisions are pretty difficult to make would you say yeah, uh, clarity yeah. is also being focused I didn't get that sorry like uh, uh, would, would you say Clarity is also being focused. If you're focused, can you be focused and not Mm-mm. be clear? Mm-mm. Or Mm-mm. They're, they're the two different things. Mm-mm. Okay. Clarity and focus are not the same thing. Okay. Um, let, me, let me give you an example. 2018, I was a final year student in Namda Zikiwe University. Mm. And I was in church. I MC events when there are women events and all of that. I did spoken words, I did mm. drama, I did so many things, right? Yeah. On the side, I was doing my business, and um, I was doing movies. There was no clarity at that point, mm. but there was focus. Let me explain. For every mm, single please time, do, please we do, had to please deliver. Do. We had to deliver on any of the things I could do. I go as far as watching people who have done similar things and seeing how they did it so that I could do it better. I, I, I was so like, I, anything I got involved in, Mm. I wanted to own it. Mm. I put my eyes on it. Like I focused on it. But deep inside my heart, when I lie down Mm. on my bed at night and I look at my next 15 years, that is not Mm. what I want to be doing. But at that moment, that was what I was doing. And the reason why I would lie down at night and keep hearing in my head, there is more to you. There is something you're missing. is because I did not have clarity. But was I achieving my set objectives at the time? Yes. Hmm. Was I setting goals and smashing them? Yes, I was. Was there clarity? No. I, I, <laughs> I'm a little bit uh, not clear with this. How would you be focused and not clear? I mean, you focused on achieving your goals, you set it and you achieve it, and then... Where is it? Where does the clarity comes into play? Okay, I'm going to tell you where clarity comes from. Clarity comes from something my coach would always say. I think it's five W's and one H. It That's comes from okay. what, when, where, why, where, who, who, and how, and how. Yeah. That is a very, very, very... Yeah, thank you. Pigeon Inspires, thank you. A very thin line. Yeah, thin if line. If you get your five W's and one H, you, are, you can do any... You can have clarity on anything in this life. There are a lot of people who are doing what they are doing today who do not know why they are doing it. Mm. They don't know why. They don't know... They just know that I'll show up. How? Anyhow, I'll show up. Mm. Now, the how, the processes are not documented. The how is not documented. They just know that anyhow, they'll show up. That's where you hear anyway, now way. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. So, people still set goals and somehow mm. achieve them because they are okay. driven. They have passion. 
But at the end of the day, they cannot tell you how they did it. That's why you keep hearing people. You meet a lot of great, I'm not saying this to insult anybody, to talk down on anybody, mm -hmm. but you meet a lot of great people and you ask them, how were you able to achieve this? The person will tell you it's God's grace. And the person is not lying because the person does not know how he or she, he or she achieved it. The person cannot tell you, I woke up in the morning by 6 a.m. I did meditation mm. for 30 minutes. I did this and then I, I did this. The person does not know. It just happened. Thanks. So I think I've been able to clarify that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's leave it at that when you are not able to understand your five w's and five h in other words uh, you haven't gained clarity mm. am i right yes okay okay i think we're good there now i get that i like a pigeon inspires a very thin line between focus and clarity but i think but clarity very. explains better when we know our five w's and h and one Who, h yes where, what, why, and how. Quite an interesting one. Uh, DC Megzi, thank you for joining us at, at this thank afternoon. We've got a number of best. <laughs> okay, uh, it, it's 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 going on smoothly, and uh, and thank God the network is really uh, normalizing. And I hope no, that it's not going us. to misbehave. It, it will help <laughs> us. Okay, <laughs> let's go to uh, the second questions. The second question. Okay. Okay, now uh, we, we've mentioned a number of things and these things are, are amazing, honest to yourself, uh, um, take practical analysis and be intentional and clarity as well. The last one you just mentioned. Now, these things are beautiful. They are beautiful. Uh, mm -hmm. Are there circumstances that would make one not to be able to come to uh, the, the fact that he wants to unleash, like take a critical analysis to himself and all the rest of them. Because uh, we know of, there's this saying that uh, if, you, if you put a whale, a baby whale, what's the name of a baby whale? What's a baby whale in the first place? What's the name of a baby whale? <laughs> baby whale, a whale. I, I have yeah, no idea, I'm not yeah. a fish. I didn't study fishery, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, that uh, uh, whale was a very big when they are uh, uh, in their natural habitat, but when you take it into uh, maybe an aquarium, it remains that way it is because uh, the environment has limited its capacity to grow to become the whale it wants to be. Unleashing, mm. taking a critical analysis of yourself, practical analysis, clarity. Are there factors that would make someone not to achieve all these things and become a, a, a better person more than what he think he is? Mm. Are there factors that can make you not to have, um, not to unleash? Yeah. I, I always tell people something. I said the only thing that can stop you in this life is you. Mm. The only thing that can stop you in this life mm. is you. How? There are circumstances that can stop you, but it's up to you to decide how you get out of them. Mm. Number one thing that can stop you is your background, where you're coming from. You know, a lot of people see me as a rich kid. <laughs> like, uh, you're fresh especially now, you're fresh. my... <laughs> especially my volunteers. <laughs> so what I now do okay. is any program I'm having, the ones around, I bring them to my house. So they come to my mm. house and I, there, there's no skyscraper. Seriously? Is this, is this your house? And I'm like, mm -hmm. yes, it's here. It's in this place. Yes. What did you cook? Rice and stew. Meat, no chicken. Sit down, eat it. Yes. <laughs> so, First thing that's going to happen to you is your background. Mm -hmm. Where you are coming from, people say your background has no right to keep your back to the ground. Hey, it's good though. The rhyming is good. But you see that bull crab? I don't believe it. I don't buy it. Your background has every right to keep your back to the ground. It is up to you to stand up and take away the rights. Mm. So you're born 
to a carpenter. Your mom mm -hmm. sells pepper in the market. And all your life, the people you've mingled with are children of carpenters and pepper sellers. And somehow you have not tried to get into a new environment mentally. You've not tried to make friends out of the, outside of that influence. And then you sit down and you tell yourself, I'm unleashing. You stumbled on Mr. Me's Instagram handle and you say you're unleashing, you're moving forward. You're not even going to get to the point of being a flash in the pan. Where we come from is strong enough to hold us down or to take us mm. up. I have an NGO, right? Mm -hmm. That NGO, Street Aid Africa Foundation, a lot of people don't understand what happened. They thought I just woke up one morning and decided to open an NGO, which is funny. Now, my NGO is for street children. Why am I doing something for street children? Why am I not doing something for women like every other person? I'm a woman, right? I'm doing it for those children who are hawking in the streets because as a child, I was hawking. Seriously? Okay, I like the look on your face. <laughs> as a child, I was hawking. You don't mean it. Topic for another day. All right. Now, All right. what I'm trying to bring into your head now is how does <laughs> a child, how does someone who was hawking as a child end up having an NGO for children on the streets. Mm. If, if you're not an advanced person upstairs, it doesn't make sense. Something is mm. wrong. When I started in 2018, they said I was coming out for beauty pageants. I needed votes. They said I was about to marry a senator and he needed it. I was about to marry somebody that was coming out. Nothing I know here. That he gave me money to do. I said, oh yeah, now let's see how it will go. How this money will sustain us. There was something that happened. I understood where I was coming from very early. Mm. I started changing my alliances. I started changing my friends. I started changing the type of church I went to. <laughs> I started changing the type of messages I listened to. I started changing the type of people I keep around me. I knew there was more to me. But I also knew that I cannot assess that more mm. being where I was. Mm -hmm. That's something mm -hmm. I, needed to break, I needed to break out. Yeah. What did I do? I changed my circle. That when you see me right now and you see where I come from, two of them don't tally. You say, no, that something yeah. is not making sense. Mm -hmm. It was intentional. First thing you're going to fight to unleash is your background. And you know the funny thing? Most times, the people from your family, from this background, are the last set of mm. people to come on board when you unleash. Because the, mm. the familiarity is a killer. When they look at yeah. you doing this new thing you're doing, what's, what's, what's me doing? He's doing live video. Which one is live video? That guy is just bored. He doesn't have handwork. <laughs> Until... You are live mm -hmm. with the president. They will now be the one to be doing screenshots. I'm saying this mm. is our son. If you don't break out of it, is that moment ever going to come? Mm. It's not. Yeah. Background on side. Okay. Second one is procrastination. A lot of people want to do something. They want to do it today. They'll say tomorrow, next tomorrow. Let me do this one first. Before mm -hmm. you know it, somebody else less qualified than you are shows up from nowhere okay. and is doing exactly the same thing you've been procrastinating on. It happened to me recently. I had an idea. I discussed it with my friend. Now, that is what happens when you change, when you move from that background you are. It does not mean you are not mm. still born into that family or that you are. It's just that you change the people around you. So the people I talk to now is people that I will tell that um, I want to I want to take 1,000 children to school in 2020. They'll tell me, okay, 1,000. 1,000 is, is, is small, but it's doable. So what do you want to do? Those are the kind of friends I have. I don't mm. have any little thinker. Around. You see, you can, we cannot coexist. You say I'm proud. That is the only... You just be like, why is this girl always talking big, big things? She's too proud. So I told my friend about this idea. And he was like, it's a good one. Get to it. 
Do you know? I was busy doing other things. I came online one day on mm. this same Instagram and somebody else, hey, doing the that same I've never thing. Met, exactly <laughs> the same thing from start to finish. I took a screenshot, I sent to them, my friend. He laughed so hard. So what I, you don't own ideas. As it's coming mm. to you, it's coming to another person. You mm. don't have monopoly of ideas. So you feel, I got this mad idea. As you got the mad idea, somebody else is, the difference is who goes with it first. Deal with procrastination. Go and read, um, what's this book? Eat Your Frog. Frog, yeah. Eat Your Frog. I've forgotten the name of the man that wrote it. I don't know why I just forgot his name right now. There's Kiss the Frog, there's Eat Your Frog. Get two of them. They deal with procrastination. You need them. If you're fighting procrastination, I recommend those two books. Another, okay, mm. the last point I'm going to make here because we are running. Yeah. Learn to do, learn to think about what you're thinking about. Remember we mentioned our W's and H. A lot of people yeah. get ideas. They just stand up and they do it. Now, that is how they, that's why they don't know how they did what they did. Mm. You need to start thinking about what you're thinking about. Think. So many people mm. with failed businesses will come and tell you, I heard the Lord. I, it was like a <laughs> voice. It was like Moses in the burning bush. I heard the Lord say. <laughs> and then the business Very was clear. <laughs> Thank Whoa. you. Somebody just put it. Brian Tracy, eat that frog. And oh, Tracy, yeah. you heard the Lord. And at the end of the day, the business fails. And you did not hear the Lord again. Where's the Lord you had? What happened? They are not thinking about what they are thinking about. And I, I don't know mm. how best to phrase it. An idea comes to your head. The difference between you and the next person that is getting that idea is articulation. When I got the idea for Talk Queen, I've been talking all my life. As at 2006, I was in JS1. I was going for debate competition with SS3 students in girls secondary school or Nietzsche. Go and ask. Our, our principal then, the head principal was a lady of fortune. Go and ask. Nancy Obue, I was with SS3. I was the only JS1 student going with them to go and do debates. Mm. So if I come out today and I say I'm top queen, you think I just came out from nowhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to sit down and think about what you're thinking about. I'm thinking about doing a movie. Who is this? Go who's going to be in this movie? Who is this movie for? Mm. When is it going to premiere? Where are we going to shoot it? What is going to be the theme? How are we going to get funding? Mm. Now you're thinking about what you're thinking about. Yeah. You mm. don't just get up because you got an idea and it's good and you do anything goes. I am not a fan of anything goes. In my life, I did, I've done it. I'm telling you because I've made that mistake. Mm. And okay. how did I learn? I learned because I opened myself to training. Okay? Which I think is the last thing we're going to talk about. All right? Okay. I opened myself to training. So, things that are going to hold you back. Your background is going to hold you back procrastination is going to hold you back when you don't think about what you're thinking about thinking about all right uh, thank you very much well in case you're just joining uh, this is a uh, talk with me unleash the second episode of the program of the chat series that is going to run for a very long time i already have guests uh, lined up for the next six weeks the next six mm. weeks, so uh, <laughs> loaded. <laughs> All right, I don't think I guess for the next six weeks. So it's going to be every Wednesday, three p.m. We'll be live here to talk about a whole lot of things, and of course, the Nancy is dishing it out for us. Ekaita Errands, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Uh, Julian, uh, uh, Degbe Julian, thank you for joining us this afternoon, and every other person joining me. I see. Thank you for joining uh, this afternoon. It's going to be an explosive week. In fact, an explosive series that is going to last yeah. for 100 years. I believe you. <laughs> because it's not, it's not going to stop. You know, you know what? Uh, 20th was my birthday. I don't know if you remember. 20th was my birthday. 
yes, that was the day I launched. And I asked myself before I came up, you know, what was I going to do differently this new year I'm going into if I really want to unleash? So that was how the lockdown and every other thing, you know, I, of course, I attended your, 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 your conference as well. I also yeah, got your book. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so many conferences this period, and I was so amazed with so much information. Remember, I told you, as it is right now, I'm overdosed with information <laughs> because it's coming in and coming in. And I said to myself, what am I going to do with all this information? I just here need we are. to just... Here we are. So I, I was actually procrastinating the start date of, um, uh, of uh, this uh, series. And someone told me, why, 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 is there anything why you shouldn't start on your birthday? And I looked at him and I said, there's no reason actually, you not you know. So I thanked the person who did that uh, for me uh, very well. And I said, okay, this was going to start. And that was how it started. And since then, and it has been... Are. Here we are, the second episode. It's going to run for 50, 60, 90, 100 episodes. As far as the Instagram, no come out. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. All right. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. So let's go into uh, uh, some other uh, uh, the part where we will be rounding off very soon. Okay. So as a public speaker, are you there? I'm here. All right. As a public speaker, a public speaking strategist, of course, you also do other things. What should you do? What would one do? What would you say to someone who wants to be? What's the things you're doing in terms of unleashing? Okay. Mm. Okay. okay. So um, I think the very first thing I'll tell you, if you want to... When if you want to go into public speaking, mastering ceremonies, and um, speaking generally, is to go get trained. It's very um. Gonna happen. It happened for all. We are maximizing. Okay. We are really, really oh, in we the digital have, age. Uh... So, first of all, go and get training so you don't come up and disgrace mm. your family and your generation. Please go and get training. <laughs> get training. So, uh, hold on, Nancy. Hold on, Nancy. Some persons will say, "Man, you are you are too harsh. Yeah, you just you're, you're just firing the salvos like this. Boom, 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 boom. Eh? Won't you take it easy or not? Be cool. Eh? <laughs> I'm so sorry, but this is me. I don't like I don't like half baked. I don't like half. See, when somebody is talking, I can look at you right now and know that you don't know what you're saying. You're just, you're just talking. I don't like half baked products. Everybody has a message. Mm. Everybody is saying something. Mm. But you need to put your message in that content and packaging mm. that people will find valuable. And most times, you can't do it on your own. You need to go to people. Who can see you where you are not seeing yourself? Okay, so there are five mm. set of persons you're going to need. You're going to need coaches. You're going to need mentors. What are coaches going to do for you? Coaches help you get results. You want to get mm. coaching. I have my free gig to paid gig bootcamp. I have my one-on-one -on -one trainings. I have my online course. I've been advertising. In fact, after this, after this meeting, right, I'm going to go and put up the ad alone. Because okay. I've, been, I've been slow on the adverts because of... I started a course eh, and I saw that my process, I was trying to document my processes and I saw that I've done a lot of things in this mm. business, in the business of speaking. I've done a lot. So a course that I was mm. thinking was just going to be two weeks is now one month because of the volume mm. of work that they're going to do. So I have my course, I have my free ebook, I have my bootcamp, go to my page on Instagram, click on any of them there, get the free ones, get the paid ones, get trained. The five set of people you're going to need. I mentioned a coach. That's where you find me. I yeah. mentioned a mentor. Find mm -hmm. me there. A mentor opens mm -hmm. your mind to things that you're not even thinking about. So when I, when I, when I go for trainings now, when I, I'm paying for a training, I'm paying for access to somebody who can see me in five years 
when me I'm still here. Mm. Person can look at me and tell me, "Girl, what you have can give you this, 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 and that." Okay. And the person can tell me that because the person has been there, done that, mm. and is doing more. Mm-hmm. And please don't follow people who come online and talk. Follow people who have results. Last year, I met. I made my I made two hundred and fifty dollars from one event. Until I made that money, I mm. was not teaching MCs how to make money. Last year mm. I had events back to back. Until I started having events back to back, I was not teaching MCs how to have events back to back. I cannot come and teach what I do not know. Yeah. I can't do it. So please don't go and follow people. There are a lot of people that come online to teach. They read books. It's good to read books, so but if you want results in Nigeria, go for someone who has been there, done that and knows that. Not someone who has read that and knows that. Mm. Do that. You need to have a sponsor. When I say sponsor, I want to quickly say something. It's not about the money. This sponsor may not give you money. But this is somebody who will speak for you in rooms that you cannot enter. Mm-hmm. When I did the Senator Helen Esuene job last year, there was someone, a woman I did a gig for, the husband was on the planning committee. He was so impressed with what I did at his wife's event that in a state where I had only stayed for seven months, I had only been in a mm. five months of seven months, this man insisted that I would do that red carpet. I was not there. Mm. That was how I got that job. So when people saw it, they were calling me, uh-uh. Nancy, how come? Which day you got Kwaibo? How? This? And guess what happens? When you go there and do well, another person will recommend you. you. Mm. That, I said, you cannot experience me and not call me back. I'm not bragging. Mm. It, it's mm. experience. I've exposed myself to a lot of things I mean, that yeah. you may not have been privileged to have done. So, so you need a coach, you need a mentor, you need a sponsor, sponsor. then you need your peers. <laughs> Who are your peers? Those set of people, maybe on the same age bracket as you, you left school together, you, you are somehow together, your friends, but they hold you accountable. So when I say peers, don't go and say, uh, me has been my friend since seven years. So he's my... No. They hold you accountable. They know the mm-hmm. language you're speaking. They know where you are going. Because th- this happens to girls mostly. I see them form cliques. And if you come to that clique, the only thing they discuss... Hello? Hello. They don't discuss anything. Mini- must hold you. Hello. Let's walk. Okay. Hello. Friends, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Go ahead. I can hear you now. Mm. Oh, we are having a little bit. Uh, hello. Okay, it's breaking. Okay, is it clear now? Uh, yeah, better now. Yes, better. Okay, so what was the last thing you heard? Let me kick off from there. Uh, fr- friends who can hold you accountable, your peers. Good. Get mm-hmm. those kind of friends. Those are your peers. Mm-hmm. The last thing you okay. need is a team. Now, when you come on my page, Facebook, Instagram, anywhere you see me show up right now, I knew mm-hmm. that the time has come for me to expand. So mm-hmm. if you come to Street Aid Africa Foundation, there's a team. Yeah, okay. We have a team, a team mm-hmm. in charge of publicity, a team in charge of programs, mm-hmm. a team in charge of... So I'm not everywhere. It gives me the time. Okay. It gives me the time, mm-hmm. time to do the thinking. It gives me right. the time to bring out substance. So All you need right. a team. Okay. Five people you need coaches mentor sponsor 
pairs and uh, a team. Oh, oh, the network is really holding us. Can you hear me, Nancy? Very well. Okay, you need the coaches, you need the mentor, you need a sponsor, you need your pairs. And those people who can hold you accountable and a team. Beautiful. For, for once of time, because we have like eight minutes or nine minutes remaining to run off of this okay. uh, session. Finally, COVID-19 has changed life for everybody. We are now, uh, uh, we are now in a situation where, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, I can hear you now. Your final okay. question. Final question. COVID-19 has changed the way we do things. The way we do our businesses, our events, and every other thing. Of course, it has also changed the way I talk to you right now. I'm here in a number of states. Are you in a number of states? No, I'm not. Okay, you're not. And you are far away, wherever you are talking with me right now and a number of persons are watching me all over the world right now. It has changed the way we do business. As a certified talkative, event hosts, philanthropists, any of these things you do, how would you adapt? What would you say would be the best strategy to adapt this season to remain relevant in the society and in the scheme of things? I want to quickly say something that John Obidi will always say. Um, COVID-19 <laughs> happened for us, for us and not, for not us. against us. <laughs> so what, are the, what, what do I tell you about COVID-19? Adapt. Mm. Learn new mm. skills. Learn okay. how to post live videos. Learn how to set up a mm. Zoom meeting. Learn how mm. to use Google. All the Google Docs, Google Discs. Go learn them. Mm. Learn soft skills. See, right now it's about smart work. It's not hard work. Yeah. So if you are still doing hard work, you're going to be out of, you, you stop existing very soon. You'll stop, you stop seeing him. So mm. just like you're asking me, how do you adapt? Mm. The simple thing to do is to adapt. Go and find out the necessary skills needed to survive mm. in this era. You see, in the medieval age, what we're doing right now was not what they needed to survive. So yes. right now, what is needed to survive in your sphere? Go and find that out. For me, I'm going to keep showing up online and I'm going to keep showing up mm -hmm. strong. I will stay in your mm. face. You will not forget me. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I'll come up every morning. I'll talk. I give you okay. value. Whether you ask for it, mm -hmm. you don't ask for it, you pick it. Right. Yes. Right fire by force. <laughs> I stay in your head. So you, <laughs> for what you do, mm. go and find out what mm. works for you and do it. What, who, what, how can I be saying I'm a certified talker if I'm not talking? Mm. I'm top queen and I'm not talking. Mm -hmm. I'm a philanthropist. I'm not giving. Mm. What am uh -huh. I doing? So, I mean, we've had our recent program, um, Pad Drive, where we gave 320 packets of pad to a local community in Port Harcourt mm. in this corona period. That's some cool mm. cash. But we got wonderful mm -hmm. sponsors. So yeah. it's not about talking. Now, do. Do. Adapt. It's not about talking. Now, do. Adapt. Thank you very much, Nancy Obwe, for joining me on this series chat with me. I am so, so, so excited and elated. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate. And uh, I don't know, for lack of words to say, <laughs> I know if uh, you charge me to talk about this, I know you will charge me very big money. <laughs> so I, I, I don't take it for granted. I don't take it for granted. I, I really appreciate you. And uh, I hope to see you uh, some other time uh, very soon. I don't know how it's going to happen, but some other time very soon, I'll have you on this platform talking again. Maybe maybe Corona must have gone and we'll see physically and talk. Let me let me shake your hand. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> let me shake your hand. Thank you very much, Nancy. I really appreciate. Of course, uh, Thank Nancy. Thank you for having me.
And Nancy is uh, public speaking strategy is certified talkative. She is talking. She is certified in talking. Mm -hmm. So anything talk, you need to see her. And of course, go to her <laughs> Instagram uh, profile. You will see the things there. Go and get the materials and learn how to talk. Who oh, <laughs> certified talkative Very is talking important. now? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Nancy. And I do have a pleasant evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for showing up. I really appreciate. <laughs> thank you. All right, bye. Okay. Bye. Okay, that's it uh, this evening on uh, of, uh, Talk With Me Unleash. We had Nancy Ogwe joining us uh, this afternoon. And of course, we're already in the evening hours. So I want to say a big thanks to all of you. Ami Sparkles, thank you for joining. Great Louis, thank you for joining. Great Louis is one of the baddest photographers you can think of in town dc maxi thank you for joining of course uh uh dc maxi is also a very 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 uh a good guy he's a good man he's doing well when it when he talk about uh um, um areas in web and all those areas he knows what he's doing there okay uh dc maxi thank you for joining us all the way from the united kingdom i think i'm right about that joy 20 thank you for joining this afternoon the ic thank you all niche Official Oni Shalom, thank you for joining and everyone who joined uh, this uh, evening. Pigeon Inspire, thank you very much. You say it is little Will. <laughs> I think it's Calf. The baby Will is Calf. Am I right? I'm going to check it up. Google is our friend these days. All right, guys, it's been an amazing time. My name is Minabai Francis Sebofa. Next week, it's going to be another beautiful time. 3 p.m. same time live on Instagram. So this video will be posted on uh, my Instagram TV. So go there, check it out, and share it to your friends as well. I'll try as much as possible to take snippets of it and put on uh, my WhatsApp uh, status. So if you're my friend, if you are in my contact list on WhatsApp, of course, uh, go ahead and check my status. I'll be putting some of the sessions of this video there. And of course, on Facebook and YouTube, I'll let you know when I do that. But all the same, it's been an amazing time so far. This is me unleashing. I want you to go out there and unleash. Until then, stay blessed, stay safe. Until I see you next time. The top is yours. Don't stop thinking big. Think big and eat that frog. Bye-bye. <laughs>